Hey guys, it's Miss Menchi and welcome back to my channel. For today's vlog, I am going to show you my new workplace. Come on! Ayan yung my block na side. That's Meron na akong small pantry here kasi. And then this one, this is to prevent the water from nilalagay doon. Papasok doon sa loob. Five months ago, I decided to quit my office job in Manila and transfer here sa aming province to work in a farm. So in this video, ito tour ko kayo sa glit dito sa farm kung saan ako nag-work. And simulan natin dito sa aking likod. So that's our main bodega wherein we put yung mga equipment na ginagamit namin dito sa farm like yung mga tubes, chick paper, slime, and etc. And on the other side naman, we do have a lot of rooms here. Iisay-isahin natin yun later. But first, dito muna tayo sa gilid. So as you can see, meron kaming host dito. So every time may sasakyan na pumapasok sa building, dinidisinfect namin yung mga tires para maiwasan yung mga bacteria and viruses na pumapasok. Napapasok sa building. And uh, just like cars, of course, if may mga tao din na bibisita dito sa loob ng farm, so they need to take a bath. We have two bio rooms here. Come on. So merong dalawang shower area per room. Isa, dalawa, so dalawa ay nakalak. Basad yung dalawa, yan yung mga bio room sa amin. And then the next room is my room. So this is the general manager's room. That's me. Uh, konting silip lang. So this is my room. Nothing fancy. Uh, meron lang mga basic furnitures like bed and cabinets. I also have rocking chair na hindi ko ginagamit. And in this side, nandito yung aking makeup slash skincare area. And I also have my diffuser, young living diffuser here. So, ginagamit ko pa din siya. And I also have my own toilet and my refrigerator. And we'll move on to the next room. So this is the operations manager room. I love that. <laughs> so, yung next room, this is our office. So, ayan siya. Same size dun sa aking um, room, no? So, this is where I do all the paperwork, like yung mga payroll, ano pa ba, ba? Uh, yung uh, monitor ng feeds, ng mga mortality ng mga chicks. So, everything, all the paperwork, dito ko ginagawa. And, meron din akong small pantry here kasi dito sa office ako always umiinom ng coffee every morning. So, I have my small pantry here. And what I like about this office is itong chair na to kasi kapag gusto ko mag-relax, dito ako tumatambay. Ano ito? Ano ito? So, ayan! Yung next room naman, so this is the quarters area or quarters room kung saan natutulog yung ating mga flakmen and leadmen. So, right now, actually, ayan, pakita ko, <laughs> natutulog talaga sila guys kasi 2 a.m. pa kami gising dahil harvest time namin this week. The next room is yung kanilang CR. So, yung mga manager's room, may kanya-kanya kaming CR. And then, for the flat men and lead men, ito yung kanilang comfort room. And yung last room is our dining area. Kung saan kami kumakain. Ayan. Paso. And yung aming kitchen. Pakito namin yung aming kitchen. Forward, forward. And so that's our kitchen. This is our dirty kitchen. <laughs> so tapos na tayo sa mga rooms dito sa taas. Ngayon, 
bababa tayo at papasok na tayo dyan doon sa building na yun. So we have two farms and each farm has three buildings. And this type of building, we call it CCS or Controlled Climate System Building. Meaning from the name itself, we basically control the climate inside the building. At the back side of the building, yung pinakadulo, Fun nandiyan sorry. yung exhaust fan, kung saan hinihigop niya yung hangin sa loob, and then ipapasok niya yung fresh air no, mula sa labas. On the other side of the building, ayan yung may block na side, that's the cooling pad. So in case sobrang init, gaya ngayon, sobrang init, then ginagamit natin yung cooling pad. And um, kapag sobrang lamig naman and it's brooding time, uh, meron tayong heater sa loob. So ayan ang kita nyo, may gasol dyan. So nasa loob yung heater. At dahil tinawag siyang CCS or Controlled Climate System Building, of course, meron tayong control room. So pasok tayo. So pagpasok na pagpasok mo, on the left side, we have here our fire extinguisher in case of fire. And on the right side naman is the yellow curtain kung saan pinoprotektahan niya yung pinto against langaw and other insects. So, ayan. Parang kakatayin. Moment check ko sa baboy, no? Tapos, dito naman, ngitin ko, lili. Dito naman, so we have a powerful equipment here to control everything na nasa loob like yung exhaust fan, we have the cooling pads, the feeders, and yung heater dito din. Ginagamit siya both no, to control yung mga equipment sa loob. And then, dito naman sa side na to, ay we have here pala the CR. So meron din silang CR dito. And yung mga lead men and flock men ay dito din natutulog kapag may mga chickens. So, kapag walang chickens or yung lunch time na gusto nilang magpahinga, doon sila sa taas. But at the same time, meron din silang bed dito sa loob ng control room. And next naman, na ipapakita ko ay ito. So, dito namin nilalagay yung mga vitamins na iniinom ng mga chickens. So, paano natin siya ginagamit? Nilalagay natin tong chub chub to ano? Ano yun eh? natin yan. Chug, bago na. <laughs> yung maliit na chug. Then, may water dyan. Nilalagay natin yung vitamins. And, if push natin to, then, iniikot ito. Baliktad. Baliktad eh. <laughs> this one. And, the other side. Baliktad. Oh. Here. And then, yun. Pag may, may narinig na yung click, meaning, Hinihigop niya na niya yung liquid. Papasok dito. And then, dinidistribute niya dun sa mga nipple lines. Which is makikita niyo later. Off natin. <laughs> so, this one. Ito yung kanilang window, no? Yung silipan nila. Para tiyangnan yung mga chickens. Kung ano yung nangyari dito sa loob. And dyan sila, ang lalaki na nila. Ready to harvest na yan sila. At ang next part ng building na sisilipin natin is yung malapit sa cooling pads, which is yung bodega. So, dito sa bodega, dalawa lang yung makikita natin. Yung lagayan ng feeds, ayan. It can accommodate 600 feeds. Sack of feeds. And dito sa side, lika, dito, pasok tayo. Ayan. Itong tubo na yan. So, itong part na to, this is the main hopper. So, para siyang embudo, nakaganyan. So, dito nilalagay yung mga feeds. Tapos, from here, dinidistribute niya dun sa feeder lines. Para maintindihan yung mabuti, pasok tayo sa loob. Meron din yellow curtain dito sa bodega kasi all doors, dapat may ganito. Kasi sabi ko nga kanina, it protects against langaw and other insects. So, let's go. 
Kasi pag malaki na yung mga chickens, dapat from time to time is binibisita sila at saka binubugaw para iwas swollen hacks yung namamaga yung kanilang tuhod. Tuhod na? Oh. I don't know. Basta yung parts sa chicken. Parts sa tiil. Parts sa, part sa paan ng chicken. From the main hopper, um, yung mga feet na nilalagay doon, uh, papasok dito. And then, dito sa mga mini hoppers, dito, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 na ganito dahil meron tayong 4 na feeder lines. Yung mga feeds, ayan, i-distribute lang nila. Tapos, pupunta dito. Then, that's where the chickens will eat the feeds. And ito naman, so this is the nipple line. So, dahil need ng chickens ng readily available na water, so, meron tayong nipple lines. Umiinom ng water yung chickens dito. And then this one, this is to prevent the water from... Um, so, Mahagbong sa ite. <laughs> to prevent the water na mapunta dun sa ite or sa dumi ng chicken. So, dito talaga umiinom yung chickens, hindi dito. Okay? And tapos na tayo dito sa loob ng building. Ngayon naman, pupunta tayo dun na park. So in this area, this is the powerhouse. Dito natin kano control. I think tayo ang kumukontrol. Nandito yung control panel ng generator. No, tama. And then, so dito naman yung ating generator. So we have two, kasi yung isa backup. Kasi hindi pweding walang kuryente dito sa farm, or else mama mata yung ating mga chickens. Okay, so. Yeah, nalipot na natin lahat ng parts ng farm. Balik tayo sa taas. And there you have it guys. I hope nag-enjoy kayo at may natutunan kayo sa aking quick tour dito sa farm. And please don't forget to like and share this video. And if bago ka sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe. And magkita-kita tayo sa aking next video. Kita kita Bye! Bye! Oh, my God.